Jones over Mack right now. Second down. Ryan. And throws, and he's got his tight end, Hooper, who makes another catch and a big play, takes it down to the 29-yard line of the Raiders. Fake it there, good block by Matthews, winding up, far side. Oh, they've got Hooper! And the linebacker, he drives him out of bounds. Another big catch by the rookie out of Stanford, Austin the Hooper. Zone teams have the ability to run the ball in this part of the field. Devontae Freeman is in. Well, the tight end was held, but they go up to Tammy, who's going to go in for the touchdown. And breaks the tackle of Malcolm Smith. A 15-yard touchdown pass. Atlanta is back on top. Jacob Tammy. Oh, defense, number 51. That penalty's declined. That was on the other tight touchdown end. Touchdown is good. They were holding one tight end, but Tammy got free, and he broke the tackle inside of Malcolm Smith. First and 10. And here is Ryan. And Ryan is going deep, and all alone is Austin Hooper for the touchdown. Nobody within miles of him. Matt Ryan, wide open. Levine Toilolo, can he make it in the end zone? Touchdown, Falcons. Well, I got to tell you, when I was scouting this team, I don't think I said anything about Levine Toilolo catching a football. Well, we sat down with head coach Dan Quinn and Kyle Shanahan. They said he's our blocking tight end. Well, there, when you when you when you guys see this play, you are going to wonder who is supposed to be covering this guy. And here's Toilolo right there on the top of your screen. Plenty of time, obviously, to throw the football. But look, there's nobody within 15 yards of Toilolo, and that is a clear bus in an offense or a defense I'm sorry that prides itself on its soundness has now given up two touchdowns without anybody in the screen his third NFL game here's third down Ryan throws to the end zone Jacob Tammy touchdown what a throw by Matt Ryan That's a couple really nice throws for Matt Ryan on that drive. Obviously, the big pass to Julio Jones to get him down into the red zone. But now watch this. This is a tight window to Jacob Tammy. Pushes up as soon as he breaks. I tell you, that's really good. Strong hands at the point of the catch because Adrian Phillips is breaking on the ball. A.J. Green would be number one as Ryan on the run throws. And that's caught for a touchdown. Levine Toilolo. The tight end into the end zone. So that didn't take very long. After Tampa Bay marches down the field in five and a half minutes, Atlanta answers in 149. Some confusion back here on the back end. It ends up being just a cover three, but on the outside, the cornerback looked like he was going to jump this route underneath and just left nobody on the seam route as. Lolo went right down the center of the field and once again now quarterbacks on the move making the difference Lost the three on the play second down and 13 oh. is that same point again. This is Hooper the rookie tight end to the 19 and another Falcon first down there they go. They finally are starting to rotate back to the middle, and that's when those seam routes are going wide open right down the middle. They've had about three or four shots at these and finally scored one touchdown on it and come right back to it and make another play here. Ryan fires, and that is caught for a touchdown by Austin Hooper. Matt Ryan throws his fourth touchdown pass of the night. Just a little fake rub, just, just get it close, but don't pick them and set it up for this inside move. I really like that by Muhammad Sanu. That's smart football. You run out there and you bang right into that guy, and you're going to get the flag thrown. You get out there and just disrupt them a bit, going to give Hooper a chance to come inside, and that's what touchdown. Atlanta with a first down on the completion of Jones. He picked up 15, and they will fake the one. Another free runner. It's Rucker, but look at this. Gets rid of it. Toy Lolo. Into Arizona territory, it's Levine Toy Lolo with 18. Now they miss Jacob Tammy, the starting tight end, who's been a really good player, and Toy Lolo contributes. 
Toy Lolo coming all the way across the field. You see Frosty Rucker up in the face of Matt Ryan, but Matt Ryan under duress. Ryan fakes the pitch wide open over the middle. He has Toy Lolo. Levine Toy Lolo inside the 20 to the 18 and a first down. Tololo's on the back side by himself. He's right here. He's going to leak out late, come up the field. Ryan fakes everything going that way. You'll see the fake toss. You roll, you half roll, and then all of a sudden Tololo leaks out to the outside. This is good for 42 yards. And by the way, Julio Jones has come back to the side. And it is a touchdown. To the rookie Austin Hooper. That's on a third and goal from a nine yard line. See Austin Hooper, the rookie tight end out of Stanford. This is why they drafted him. Pass catching ability. He catches it, takes it all the way through. Watch how they use most. See, see how they spread everyone out to declare coverage for San Francisco. And once they declare, look at what happened downfield. Runs a one on one route with a nice little cross in front of him to, to, to chip him off a little bit. Yep. And he's into the end zone for the That's season. been a story that every year Chip Kelly has been a head coach in this league. Wide open is Toy Lolo. And that's his first catch all the way to the 38 yard line. This is well designed, well schemed because they take your eyes one place. Okay, they're gonna take your eyes here, but it's gonna come back here. So you see, they see the crosser, Robinson going here. There's the cross, and then Toy Lolo sneaking back underneath through the wash. And Matt Ryan did a nice job manipulating the secondary with the look downfield, yeah. Aldrick Robinson, before resetting and coming back across. The field. So why do you run that play when you're up 38 to 13? Put it on tape and, and give them something to think about his future. He got lost in space, which allowed Colton to be open. Play action, look into the end zone. What an unbelievable catch by Joshua Perkins. And that is a touchdown. The Falcons have scored four touchdowns on the opening possession of a game at any team in a league. Well, there's the size difference right here. And this is scouting court stuff. Thomas Davis is going to work on Perkins right there. Now, this is a matchup. First of all, Davis has pretty good help, and he's playing nice on the out and up, and he does have help late coming from the corner. But when you throw a guy open away from the corner who's lined up on the inside, you put it on the outside shoulder. Third down and goal, three tight ends, one extra offensive lineman. DeMarco, naturally, they're going to throw it. And Ryan will throw, and that is a touchdown. You cannot put a defensive lineman in coverage in this situation. He doesn't know what to do on scramble rules, and Charles Johnson gets lost in space. And look who ends up catching the ball. It's the guy that just brought up from the practice squad, DJ Tia Levaya, who ends up catching the ball. But the thing for me on this one, the mobility of Matt Ryan, guys, we've watched him over the years. It's not that he was ever a statue. But I think over the last two years, in order to run Kyle Shanahan's offense, he has worked really hard on his agility and mobility, Good not just point. to keep plays alive, but to run the bootleg game. Empty backfield. Blitz coming. Ryan sees it, gets rid of the Toy Lolo. And Levine Toy Lolo with a stick on and a shoulder. And it's Toy Lolo land. He got right through Nico Thorpe, and it's a pickup of 18. Seattle has always prided themselves on tackling in space, being great open field tacklers. Levine, to Levine Toilolo says, get off me, and then carries Bobby Wagner for some extra yardage. His fourth year in the league, for years he was just a blocking tight end. He's really coming on as a receiver now. He's a big guy. And so pass is caught for the touchdown, Austin Hooper. But a flag is down. And it's going to be against New England. The touchdown will stand.
you're going to see Julio Jones and Devin McCourty, the safety. They're doubling him inside out. When you do that, you go one on one elsewhere. And Austin Hooper, Defense. he's able to beat Chuck. Penalties declined. Results of the play. And really, the throw Touchdown. threw him open on that play. It looked a little bit to me like Hooper might have gotten away with something, you know, on the grab to to be able to get inside and make a play on that ball.